Hey guys, it's Jay and today I am here with a Friday Reads video. This Friday Reads is going to be a little bit different than usual because I'm asking you guys for help. Because I'm super indecisive. I can't decide what I want to read after the book that I'm reading now is over. So if you guys can comment down below telling me which out of the four books I should read then that would be super duper helpful. So without further ado, let us get started. I'll start with the book that I'm reading right now, and it is The Little Woods by Mick Cormick Templeman. And I am not liking this book, but I'm 200 pages in, and I want to know what happens in it, which is the only reason I'm still reading it, because I want to know, and it's annoying because it is so problematic, and I just... <clears throat> Basically, this book follows a girl named Callie Wood who goes to this prestigious boarding school. She went there halfway through her junior year because another girl went missing in these little woods. But, fun little thing that also happened, her older sister Claire disappeared from her bed one night while she was attending this school. Why would you want to go to that school? I don't know, because personally I would avoid it like the plague, but whatever floats her boat, I guess. So like I said, another girl went missing recently, and Callie becomes obsessed with figuring out what happened to her. And that's basically the story. This book is so problematic, it hurts my soul. Some of the lines just should never happen in a story. Just my opinion, especially a YA book, because like teenagers read this, so like why? The things and topics that the author tries to bring up, they do it in a way that is just not done well, in my opinion. So one of the characters is asexual, which, cool. Great that you're trying to include that into your story. But then she goes on to say that his asexuality is just a phase and that it's not a real thing, and it's just like... But it is a real thing, like that's an actual sexuality that people can have, so stop it. And then she decides that she's gonna throw in some anorexia, some rape, some suicide, some like ableism. And it's just like, mm, stop it, I do not like this. At one point, cheating occurs, and then the character who got cheated on goes and hooks up with another person who has a significant other, and therefore, she's just cheating on another person. And, and it's just like, what? What logic? Because she's like, oh, I would never cheat on anybody, but you're literally going to cheat on somebody else. So this, where do the dots connect? I don't know. Lots of problems so far, but I'm 200 pages in and there's only like 300 pages, so we're just gonna see what happens, I guess. So now on to where you guys come in. I'm going to show you four books. I'm not going to give synopsises for them because they're pretty popular books, so I'm pretty sure everybody knows what they're about. If you guys could comment down below and tell me which one out of the four I should read, then I would appreciate it. The first book is The Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern. I've had this on my shelf for over two years. It's my mom's favorite book, so we all know what her comment's going to be, so... But I really need to read this, and everybody seems to really like it, so it is on one of my options. The second book is The Savage Song by Victoria Schwab. Also, I've had this book for a while and I just haven't gotten around to it. It's one of those books that you either love it or hate it is what I find on the interwebs from the videos that I've watched. So hopefully I'll be one of the ones that actually likes it. The next is Shadow and Bone by Lee Bardugo. Everyone says I need to read this book. I only have this one so I'm gonna read it and then see if I like it and see if I should pick up the other two books in the trilogy. But, you know, in order to do that, I need to actually read this book, so there you go. And then the last book is a second book in a series that just came out, and I just read the first book in the series. And I liked it, but I didn't think it was, like, amazing, like everybody said. And it is Wind Witch by Susan Dennard. As I said, this is the second book, so I should read it because I read the first one. Alright guys, so those were the four books that I'm contemplating reading this weekend. If you guys could comment down below because indecisiveness, that would be amazing. And I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!